one of our sheikhs said that a student of his came to complain. Sheikh, I have problems, big problems. So he was explaining exactly the way I was today to say, look at the favors of Allah upon you. If you have difficulty, hardship, you know, it's, it's, it's limited. But if you have goodness, it's unlimited. Whatever you have, count the good and count the bad. How many things have gone wrong in your life? You can count 10 things. How many have gone right in your life? You will not count them. Okay? So he kept on saying, this young man complaining, saying, no, I've got the most difficult life from everyone. He says, okay, we will do something tomorrow in the masjid. He says, okay. The following day, as the people were entering, he gave everyone a pen and a paper and said, right, I want you to write 10 of the most difficult things in point form that you are going through in your life. Every one of you. So they all sat down, a few hundred of them, and they wrote 10 of the most difficult things they were going through. No names, no nothing. And what happened is they, they put it into a bucket. So each person's little piece of paper was in a bucket. And then he shook up this bucket and he told the people, right, all your problems are in this bucket. All your issues are in the bucket. Right? I want you to pick up one paper each. Or keep on picking up papers until you're happy with one that you would like. Did you hear that? I am saying I have more problems than all of you. Okay? That's what this young man was saying. So what we've done, we've taken all of your problems, put them in a bucket, bring the young man and tell him, pick up any one of these. It's a combination of people's problems. So the people started. And they pick up one Oh no, put it down again. Because there's two, three things I really can't go for. Pick up another one, put it down. Pick up a third one, put it down. Pick up a fourth one, put it down. Until they picked up enough to say, you know what, I, I need my own paper back. I just want my own paper back. Why? Because I've realized Allah put you through issues and has given you the power and the ability to go through that. If you knew what others were going through, you would just thank Allah for the nothings that are going on in your life in terms of hardship. I'm not belittling your problems. But remember, issues are relative. When you start knowing what others are going through, you begin to thank Allah. You begin to say, oh Allah, I've got it easy, man. You know, I had a car crash. Two hours I was there. And mashallah, you know, at least they took the car away. The other people, the guy lost a limb. What are you going to say? That's why Muslims are taught to say, it could have been worse. Could have been worse. May Allah bless you. My brothers and sisters, Remember, it's not like you're not going to go through challenges in life. You will. We just came out of COVID. Hopefully, people are still being affected, but we've come out of it. We've learned from it. It has evolved and we have evolved. And subhanAllah, we're, we've lost loved ones. Some of us have lost a lot. Some of us have gained as well. Pick up the pieces and keep going. If you're going to pity yourself, you're going to go nowhere. You have to be strong. You have to get up in the morning. There's no chance. You have to get up. You have to start off with that prayer in the morning. You have to move and you have to make sure you made an effort through the day. The Almighty will bless the rest of it. If you're going to be lazy and worrying about, oh no, I can't even get out of bed. Force yourself to do a few of those things and the rest will be done by Allah. In the sense that, see how Allah opens your doors. Brothers and sisters, I will share five practical tips from Islamic teachings to overcome laziness and become more productive in our daily lives. 1. Recite this dua. The Prophet ﷺ used to say, Allahumma inni a'uthu bika min alhammi wal hazani wal ajzi wal kasali wal bukhli wal jubni wa dhallai daini wa ghalabati rijal O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from helplessness, laziness, cowardice, and feeble old age. I seek refuge with you from afflictions of life and death, and seek refuge with you from the punishment in the grave. Sahih al-Bukhari 2. Optimize your sleeping schedule. 3. Practice cleanliness and self-care. 4. Embrace an active lifestyle. 5. Surround yourself with righteous, productive people. May Allah help us to be better Muslims than we are. Amin.